Uh -uh Uh-uh-uh, don't turn that dial. This is the right station if you want to hear about Jonathan Thomas and his Christmas on the moon. Oh, my goodness, as the time draws near, I worry and worry too much, I fear, whether Jonathan Thomas will find Santa Claus, which he promised to do, and he's got to because if he doesn't find Santa... There won't be much joy on Christmas morning without even a toy. Now, the man in the moon and Gorgonzola the horse are helping Jonathan Thomas, of course. And the three little dwarfs have taught them to say, Hun squi nun squi giggly vey. It's the strangest word that you ever heard, but that's because it's a magical word. Whenever they say it, the good fairy queen knows there is trouble, and she comes to the scene, and she soon drives away the wicked old witch who rules o'er the land of Rumpelstitch. And the good fairy queen has given a charm to the travelers three to keep them from harm. Tis a magical acorn she gave them to take through the nightmare forest to keep them awake. Because she said, remember, in the forest so deep, you'll never wake up should go to sleep. When they reached the forest so dark and chill, they met a white squirrel named Whiskery Bill. And he was as mean as a squirrel could be. He teased them a lot from the top of a tree till Jonathan Thomas fell off of the horse and went sound to sleep, as he would, of course, for the horse held the acorn, and things looked bad, and Whiskery Bill was ever so sad, till the fairy queen said, if you'll find a red rose and hold it beneath the little boy's nose, it'll wake him right up. But for miles around, there wasn't a single red rose to be found, till the white rose bush told Whiskery Bill if she had red color, she could grow one at will. And she said, if you'll hurry right over the snow... You'll find red rubies on the long rainbow. So away he went to the rainbow's end, where he met a walrus, who became his good friend. And you've no idea how much trouble they had, for the witch did all that she could that was bad. But they found the rubies, and the bush grew the rose. They held it beneath Jonathan Thomas's nose, and he woke right up and was soon on his way, because he's got to find Santa before Christmas Day. Soon they met a lion who asked them to dine and gave them a box full of roars that were fine to frighten the witch. Then they met the elf king, who claimed he was king of any old thing. Just then, the old witch flew up with a yell to get Jonathan Thomas and the elf king as well. But they let out the roars, which quite took her breath. As a matter of fact, it scared her to death. (laughs) And then, well, here's where the story begins again. isn't much. Why, it's hardly a touch. But now I give you my promise. Whatever the task, anything you ask will be yours, Master Jonathan Thomas. Thank you very much, Your Majesty. We don't want you to give us anything, but maybe you could help us. I'll do my best. Just give me the test. We've got to go to the land of Squeebubble, Your Majesty, to rescue Santa Claus. Or there won't be any Christmas this year, and that would be bad, and more terribly sad, to which you'll quite agree. Can't you help us at all, if you please? Through this valley and over the hill, you'll find a wall that will stop you still. It's the wall of doors, and I say to you, without this key, you can't get through. Oh, thank you, Your Majesty. How kind of you, this thing to do. That helps us out a lot. For by my hat, any key like that could never in the world be bought. 
Nobody ever told us about the wall of doors until you. We didn't know, did we, Mr. Man in the Moon? How could we know if nobody told us? Unless we could guess. Yeah. Ain't guessing such hard work. When you come to the wall, which is very, very tall, you'll find a thousand doors. Each one is the same, and they're all very plain. And you'll have to count them by fours. Four from the left, and 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 then four more. That makes the count twenty, and that's quite a plenty. But make sure you go through the right door. Yes, sir, Your Majesty. Your troubles are done if you pick the right one. They'll just begin if another you go in. And you'll be lost for days. And you'll wander and wander hither and yonder like a couple of maverick strays. Oh, my goodness. There's the room of doom of never-ending night with horrible things to give you a fright. There's a pitfall hall where goblins and snakes will give you the shakes, where ghosts and banshees wail and sneak up behind you and then try to blind you so they can put you in jail. I hope Santa Claus appreciates what we're going through. For I'm telling you, this sets me all a quiver. For I can't help but worry about this story and it's got me in a dither. Well, you needn't shake, for the door which you'll take will lead you right through the wall. So go right through, and it's easy to do. You'll not be frightened at all. You're a very nice king, Your Majesty. I'm glad we saved you from the witch. Oh, Jonathan Thomas, we'd better go, or we'll never get wherever we're going on time. Yes, you'd better start walking, for I must quit talking, because I've used up most of my rhyme. Goodbye, Your Majesty, and wish us luck. And keep your fingers crossed so we don't get stuck. Goodbye. 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 So, here we go through the ice and snow. We're off again once more to find with the key which he gave to me a way through the secret door. Squim dum do, squim dum dee, a frightful time do I foresee. For remember, dear children, I made a promise that I would cast a spell upon Jonathan Thomas. Now let me see, what do I need? <laughs> a shell of a snail and a watermelon seed. <laughs> to boil and bubble to cause great trouble. <laughs> and I'll work and toil, and I must because they shall not rescue Santa Claus. <laughs> they shall not rescue Santa Claus. <laughs> oh, here we go through the ice and snow, singing on our way... We're riding a horse, cause we have to, of course, for we have no open sleigh. Oh, jingle bells, oh, jingle bells, oh, whoa, Gorgonzola. Hold up now. My gracious to goodness, and Jiminy Crickets, and Flub Dudge. Look, Jonathan Thomas. Oh, it's a wall of doors. The elf king told us about. Doors to the left of us, doors to the right of us, thousands and millions of doors. You could count them by 40 times 4, and they all say, Private, this means you. Now, who told them we were coming here? That's what I'd like to know. Which is the one the Elf King told us to go through, Mr. Man in the Moon? We'll have to count them, Jonathan Thomas. Four from the left. One, two, three, four. And four from the left. Five, six, seven... Eight. Count four more or we'll be late. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. It's all according to the tiny elves. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Now just four more and we'll open the door. Seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. That's counting them rights, which is good and plenty. Now look and see if you've got the key. Here it is, Mr. Man in the Moon. 
I keep it in my pocket. Now put it in the lot and turn to the right, and mighty soon we'll know what we will greet here to our sight. Oh, look, Mr. Man in the Moon. It's kind of spooky inside. The Elf King said we had nothing to fear, but I don't ever fear nothing. It's always something I'm afraid of. Come on, Jonathan Thomas, shut the door and let's go on. Oh, I hope we can it right, because remember, he said if we didn't, we'd get into all sorts of trouble. You counted right, of course you did, and I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid. Oh. Oh. Who said that? Who said that? Somebody's mocking us. Mocking us. But who could it be? Who could it be? Whoever it is, they'd better shut up. Shut up. Oh. Look at the man in the moon. Look at all the people. People. And they're coming after us. Come on, Jonathan Thomas. Run for your life. Run for your life. Run for your life. Run for your life. Well, my goodness gracious. It looks like Jonathan Thomas and the man in the moon are in trouble again. But what sort of trouble do you think? What sort of a place are they in? That's what I'd like to know, wouldn't you? Well, we'll find out when we hear the next story of Jonathan Thomas and his Christmas on the moon. Don't forget to listen, will you? <laughs> 